So for today, we're going to be reviewing the Festival of the Lost. Uh, it is the final week, and I, why not do it right now? Essentially, we're going to be reviewing the loot that we can get, the activity. Not too much, because I do want to do a separate video, a more detailed video about the actual activity, because I do think it's pretty cool. Uh, the, the new stuff, like spectral pages, um, the new masks, stuff like that. So if you guys found it informative, or if you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below. Definitely talk about it in the comments. Uh, but... Yeah, let's get right into it. We, the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual weapons themselves. I actually love the weapons uh, aside from Horror Story. I think Horror Story is just still kind of bad. But Jurassic Green, easily one of my favorite weapons. Unfortunately, it's not the best rapid we have because that already goes to that already goes to darkest before but that doesn't mean that dress green is garbage far from it i think it's still very good so i ended up getting the rangefinder multi-kill clip on mine and i absolutely love it it's been a lot of fun i still want to review this weapon just because it is that much fun but unfortunately i don't think we'll be we're gonna, we're gonna be able to farm this after it's gone obviously the event it's tied to the event so if you don't have it i might as well you might as well just pick up a rangefinder multi-kill clip uh, you don't even have to go like a five out of five just get those two and you'll be you'll be golden uh horror story like i said it's not that great i don't think it's uh good at all and i just would not have that i don't care what the what the perks are it's just the rpm for me is just not the greatest uh, Bray Tech Werewolf, on the other hand, the perks actually make it a lot of fun. I'm currently trying to get something with a Swashbuckler and a better first perk. I haven't seen them yet. But weapon-wise, I think I think Bungie did a good job with the weapons this season. Aside from Horror Story, but that's not an, a new weapon, so that's fine. Uh, Jurassic Green, definitely love that weapon. It's super dope. Uh, Bray Tech Werewolf, also love that weapon. I love the new perks it got. And that's pretty much it. So we'll talk about uh, the new masks. I think the new masks are pretty interesting. I do like a lot of the new ones. We got Tanix, which kind of made me giggle a lot. We got uh, Ada, which also is super dope. I love Ada as a character. And obviously, I'll have all, all of the masks right here. But for me, I think the... The one that kind of made me giggle a lot was Aramis. Aramis's mask was a lot of fun for me because it's just like, that's disrespectful, bro. Uh, that's not new because we have a lot of the enemies masks, but like <laughs> it just it made me giggle for some stupid reason. And I've, I really liked it. Uh, I will probably do a separate video of fashion when it comes to like the masks, So that way you guys can see like what you can do. But that's pretty much it for the mask. Let's talk about the armor. So. We're gonna get to Eververse territory. We're not gonna talk about too much of this just because I've already done two two videos reviewing the Eververse and the armor itself. So if you guys wanna see those videos, I'll have it in the comments below. But the armor I think is super dope. The unfortunate part is just like the questionable choices they did. Like why, like in, for example, Jurassic Green has a very like scaly look. Why couldn't you give that to like literally everyone? Because literally everyone has dino armor. Like that's that's the one thing that kind of irked me, especially the Raptor one. Uh, if we want get to get really technical, the Raptor boots for the Hunter, the actual claw is in the middle, which is so jarring. Why couldn't you put it on the sides? It. It's so gross. Me and my one of me, 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 one of my clanmates and I were just like bashing the armor set because of that. It was just so bad. Um, Warlocks got dicked hard. Obviously, I don't think a ter uh, Triceratops was a good choice for the Warlocks. They should have got like a Pteranodon, uh, literally a uh, Quetzalcoatlus. Anything that flies, the, bro, would have been dope. Or <clears throat> I just I don't know, man. And T and T Rex for. For Titans, although cool, definitely should not have gotten that. They should have gotten like an armored dinosaur, like a Triceratops. Or you want to be even more, more extra, you could have do, done like an Ankylosaurus. Like that would have been dope. So I don't agree with some of the dino choices they did, but I mean, I still love the armor sets. So I'm okay with it. Eververse, uh, she. Eververse was okay. I don't. I don't. Aside from the spider shader, uh, I don't really care about anything else. I didn't even get the spider uh, sparrow just because uh, I I didn't have enough bright dust and I'm not buying that. So unfortunately, I might have to get that next year. But overall, I I, I enjoyed the loot this season. Uh, 
now that we're done with the loot let's talk about the actual activity itself so for the activity we're going to be talking about the actual activity the spectral pages the book of the forgotten and then the nerfs after and then after that we'll just give my conclusions so the haunted lost sectors i think are a great idea i love them they're they can they can get a little long but at the same time, they're pretty short. They're so much shorter than the haunted forest. So I don't really want to, I don't really want to bitch about like the time because it's like, it's so much shorter than the haunted forest. The haunted forest was horrid. I hated it. So it can get a little long, but after 10 pages, you just have to wait. So I do wish that once you hit 10, the 10 pages that the game would automatically just be like, okay, you're done. Let's, let's get you to the boss fight. Other than that, that's yeah, the 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 length is fine. I think the actual headless bosses are pretty dope. They're pretty fun. And I don't really don't have anything negative to say about this whole activity. The only thing I do have uh, like more con or more critiquing is the fact that Bungie is still doing this weird thing where you have to play outside of the activity in order to play in the activity now granted you can literally play the activity even if you don't have pages but if you want to get pages you have to play like gambit crucible you just have to put a mask on and complete activities with the mask on which is for me it's kind of annoying like i'd rather <clears throat> i'd rather have an activity or a destination where i can get spectral pages that's why people were doing the the uh the gl or not glitch the the exploit i guess you whatever they nerfed a few a few ways where you can get a lot of pages because that's a lot of pages man i'm like super far behind not only that candy acquisition is a little annoying because like it's super expensive they expect you to play like every day or some shit which i mean whatever but i i think that's like the only like negative i have about this event uh, this event is just that the candy acquisition is a lot like it's expensive as fuck to get some of the masks um the nerfs were just fucking weird let's just be real like why why did you have to nerf that now you could say like oh well they wanted more play time and all this other stuff which that actually makes more sense to me but it's just like bro it's 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 it this is not like an expansion or part of the game that's going to be here forever this is a this is an event it's going to be here for like three weeks and then it's gone like chill bro it's not that big a deal honestly so that's that kind of irked me <clears throat> the like i said the spectral pages idea is pretty cool it's just that i wish that for example a portion of each map had a haunted section where you could do you know haunted lost sectors not the actual activity but just like regular lost sectors where once you kill the boss you get like a certain amount of uh, pages uh, or you could go to a haunted section and then do haunted activities within that destination and then just get pages from there because then at that point you're like you're, you're doing new content new wish i guess so i don't know i i kind of wish they fleshed it out a little more like i said uh, a haunted destination where you can get those stuffs so that way you don't have to do the old shit that you're always doing would have been a lot better in my opinion and you could you could even rotate the haunted destination so that way people don't get bored i don't know i I just don't like the the idea that we have to keep playing old content to play the new content and this is not a new this is not a new like complaint like we've all been talking about this for a while uh <clears throat> the book of the forgotten i think is pretty interesting it's just that it's so much work it's a lot of pages bro but other than that i i'm pretty okay with this season with this event so that's pretty much it uh let's get on to the conclusion so I I've always liked Festival of the Lost mostly because the armor has been always like a lot of the time have been bangers. So for me Halloween has always been like a really cool event for Destiny 2. This of this this Festival of the Lost probably is one of the better ones just because we have a new activity, we have new masks, that's not new but like the new activity really is what really br breathed in Festival of the Lost like new life because last year and the year before it was just haunted the lot the lot the haunted uh haunted forest or whatever it's called and i we all hated it it was boring it was too long and it was just just wasn't fun bro so i'm happy that they changed it 
I don't mind the, the Haunted Lost Sectors being like the new theme as long as they rotate new ones in and out. <clears throat> because if they rotate new ones in and out, then that would alleviate a lot of like, the, ugh, again, this. Like, it would, it, would, it would give us more variety. So like, if anything, I would I would have expected them to just have like pure earth lost sectors become haunted lost sectors and then rotate planets out each year. I thought that was going to be a super, super good idea. But at this point, they can just rotate uh, lost sectors in and out. If anything, you could you could probably just do like haunted uh, haunted dungeons, haunted raids, stuff like that. Like it would be really cool. Actually, you know, I'll make a video about that separately just because I have a lot of ideas when it comes to events like a lot. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally love this event. It was a lot of fun and I hope they keep improving not only this event, but the events in general, because a lot of the events have been very boring. I'm looking at you fucking Christmas. You are boring as shit. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.